teddy boy drape should three piece. So there is a drape, uh, which is a long men's coat, usually fingertip length, and the uh, typical thing is that there's no back seam. It's a thing, no back seam in drape coats. And then there is, of course, same fabric, same material, there's a waistcoat, usually with details, lots of details, and then very uh, narrow cut, rather short trousers, with, usually with turn-ups, and they are called rain pipes. And this is very English so thing, and uh, teddy boys are the first known youth culture. Uh, well, two shooters were the first in America. And what is the story that actually teddy boys got a lot of influence from two shooters? Because black immigrants came to England and brought the suit to it, and it was new and rebellious. And there is a lot of similar Ryan Rusgrove's fashionable fools are vicious, and there is a lot of. Uh, Good information about rape and origin. There is the original picture from the 53, as you can see, it's very early. So this picture from the 53, from England. But anyway, there is an origin of the teddy boys. And so these young teddy boys, they mixed this chuchut culture and also rape culture and it became their own culture. So it's not exactly so bright colored in England. It's more like very classical uh, colors like pinstriping and so on, but it has the rebellious side of the suit suit, so it's not exactly the suit as the tailors so, made for. Uh, you can see here, it also has an effect of um, saloon, wild west style, as you can gambler's tie. So it has a strange mixture, this uh, drape suit, a strange mixture of American and English culture. English tailoring and American rebel and American white. New, uh, new research of the Teddy Girls that they were very independent young women, not kind of losers or whores even or something like they were told first, but very independent young women who were equal with the men. So there is, this is a Teddy Girl style. They basically were the same jacket, but they had this more casual American teenager style. But for example, this is very early picture. It's 40, uh, 54. So, and this is actually from the series of photographs by Ken Russell, who took uh, pictures of Teddy Girls on the bomb sites after Lon in London after the Second World War. So these are, these are kind of showing the New England after the war. They are really nice.